Hello crafty friends, today I'm going to show you how to use up some of your napkins and also any other little bits and bobs that you have, like if you have just a couple of stamps or a couple of stickers, you're not sure what to do with, I'm going to show you a way to use them up. Now I have quite a lot of napkins, I was lucky enough to receive from a mystery person a whole bunch as an RAK and I want to put them to good use. So I've picked up my favourites, they're mainly the floral ones and I'm going to show you how to make some tags. Now I'm going to make 10 tags and I'm going to use the same method for each one. Each one will look different but the process will be the same. I have filmed it all and I'm going to put it on to a higher speed. But if you don't want to watch me sort of sticking the napkin on onto 10 different tags, you don't have to. I'm going to put some timestamps in the description below this video. So if you want to just click forward to a certain point, like if you want to see the next step of the video, you can just click forward to that timestamp. Of course, if you do want to watch it all, you're more than welcome. So for my base, for my tags, I'm going to be using some old papers. I have some old pages from a novel. I have some from an old maths book. And then I also have some music sheets. You can use any kind that you have. You can also use cardstock if you have ample amounts of that. Now, I'm using this because the napkin will... Be a bit transparent and then the writing or the music notes will shine through which is a lovely look and i quite like that but if you don't have these kind of pages you could also just use plain cardstock so one page equals one tag i fold it in half and then i apply a little bit of glue and then i fold it in half again to create like the rectangle shape now i'm not applying a lot of glue because i am going to be stitching it with a sewing machine near the end of the process but if you don't have a sewing machine and you're not going to sew it you can apply more glue to make sure all the corners are adhered well. Once all the tag bases are ready we're going to start applying the napkins. I'm going to use a different napkin for each one just for some variety. I'm going to start by just pulling apart the napkin you want just the very top layer do note sometimes napkins are three layers and you need to remove two so you can get it as transparent as possible if you struggle to separate them a little trick is just apply a piece of sticky tape to the underside and then that'll pull down the one layer and allow you just to lift the top layer off a little bit easier i'm applying my napkin with some mod podge and i'm applying also a layer of mod podge above the napkin. This is just to protect it, waterproof it and keep it a bit more sturdy because napkins are very thin and quite flimsy. This will also help waterproof it if I decide to add any kind of paint medium. Now you can see what I was saying earlier where you can see the music paper shining through from underneath the napkin, even underneath the roses and I really love that look. I'm going to put this one to the side to dry and go on to the next one. I'm going to do the same process for the remainder of the tags using a different napkin. If you don't have Mod Podge, you can also use a craft glue. That'll work pretty much the same. When you're applying the napkin, do do it quite gently and try and not get any air bubbles underneath. So you sort of put it down and then press it flat. If you do get some wrinkles or some air bubbles, that is perfectly fine. It just adds to the texture. But if you want a smoother look, just do it a bit more gently and press it from the bottom to the top or from side to side to try and smooth it out as best as possible. But some wrinkles are bound to happen.
Now that all the napkins have been added to the tags, we're going to dry them really well. You can either leave them to dry overnight or you can use a heat gun to dry them faster. And then just trim off all the excess napkin from around each card. I then want to shape my tags into actual tag shapes. So I'm using a ready-made tag just to get the corners cut off. It's just an easy way to use a template and you can always get them the same size. So once I've trimmed the excess, I'm just going to use my template tag to cut off the little corners. And aren't these looking pretty already? You can actually use them as is, but of course I want to add some more and use up some little tidbits that I have left over. I would suggest gathering all your supplies before you start the section so you know everything that is available for you to use. Sometimes we forget we have little things left over from other projects like maybe stamps or stickers or little flowers or any little things that you only have one or two of that you really want to use up. And I'm going to work with each card and see what little embellishments I'm going to add. So the process again will be the same for each card but the placement of the item and each item will be different, so each one will be quite unique. I'm going to use some vintage sticker labels. I also have some stamps, and then I also have some numbers that I'm going to cut out from what looks like a bingo card, but it's actually a card stock that I have, and then also some printed script. It's a, just little papers that I have from Topology that have like vintage script written on them, and those are my little bits that I'm going to add to my tags. So the process for each one will be quite similar, but obviously the placement of the elements will be different for each card, depending where the main focal point is of the napkin that you've placed. So just work with each one, move the elements around until they are balanced and until you find them pleasing to the eye. Sometimes I find that you place the elements down the first time and it works great and you can go ahead and stick. Other times it can take a little longer to balance everything and you sort of add items and remove and go back and forth each one is different just have fun with it relax don't overdo it and there's nothing really ever that's wrong it's just what you like and it's your personal taste i'm happy with this first one i'm going to put it under the sewing machine and stitch all the way around just with straight stitch using black thread this is a contrast to the writing in the base paper that I've used for my tag and for this one I'm going to cut off all the loose threads I want it just a little bit neater and tidier and then I'm going to punch my little hole at the top again I'm going to use my little ready-made tag as a guide and then just punch the hole for this tag I have used a combination of glue stick and clear craft glue to stick down the other elements you can use any kind of glue that you have I didn't use a hot glue gun like I normally do only because I wanted to maybe move the elements around and using a hot glue gun wouldn't allow me to do that. So I've used a clear craft glue so I can then maybe lift an element, move it around or change it or add something underneath. It gives you a bit more flexibility. You'll notice my vintage sticker labels are actually stickers, but I am still adding glue to them. This is because we've added Mod Podge onto the top of the napkin and the sticker may not always stick 100% well. So I do sometimes, when I remember, add a little bit of additional glue underneath the sticker. I'm now going to continue and decorate all my little tags with the extra little bits and bobs.
So all the tags are now ready and I have stitched all the way around them. You will notice the yellow tulip one is missing. I just didn't get that one to work. It wasn't talking to me, so I've left that one for another time. I'm just trimming off all the excess threads from my sewing. Again, if you don't have a sewing machine and don't want to sew, you can leave this step out. These are great to create in batches, so you can sort of use one napkin and make at least maybe eight cards, depending on the size. I've used obviously a different napkin for each one, just to show you the variations you can have. But I think it's definitely a good way to use up those napkins. I thought at this point I was done and I had laid them all out, but then I felt they needed something a little bit more just to finish them off. So I'm going to go in with some watered down white acrylic paint and apply some splatter over the whole lot. I just feel it adds a really nice final touch. Some of the blobs are a little too big for my liking, so I'm just going in with the wet baby wipe and just dabbing those up. It's easy enough because we've put the Mod Podge over the napkin. It allows us to be able to lift that paint quite easily while it's still wet. I really hope you enjoyed this extra long video from me. I know my videos are normally a little shorter, but I wanted to show you the full process of all the cards that I created. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I also hope you were inspired to go and pull out your napkins and your little bits and bobs and create your own tags. Here is a close up in real time of each card. So you can see all the beautiful details and how each card looks from close. Thanks again for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!